I've heard of a test tube baby, now a test tube burger? Ew. Hi everyone, I'm Sandra Matos and you are watching I.O. The world's first test tube burger has been fried and served. It might be another 20 years before you can pick it up at your local grocery store, but it just might be what we'll be eating in the future. Dutch scientist Mark Post has invented this in vitro style burger. It was a five year experiment using cattle stem cells. It looks just like a burger, it's red, it's formed in a round patty, except this burger is knitted together by 20,000 strands of laboratory grown protein. It's combined with other ingredients that you would use to make burgers, breadcrumbs, egg powder, and red beet juice and saffron to give it color. What do you think guys? Does it sound tasty? It looks good. But does it taste good? Food writer Josh Schoenwald gives a more detailed description of this burger. He described this meat as a animal protein cake-like texture. Adding that he would like to try it with some of the extras you throw on your burger. You know, some ketchup, mustard, jalapenos. Give it some flavor, give it some pizzazz. The Dutch scientist's aim was to show the world that we could live and grow without necessarily having to kill cattle in order to eat meat. For all you vegetarians out there, is this a dream come true? Sergey Brin is not only young and handsome, check out his photo ladies, but he's a multi-billionaire. He's one of the co-founders of the world's largest internet search engine, Google. Sergey can now add this to his list of accomplishments, but what do you guys think? If this was available in your grocery store now, would you buy it and try it? Will this really put an end to meat consumption? Interesting future ahead. What do you guys think? Leave your comments down below.